Hi, this is Dr. D from Dr. D the MFT, and today I wanted to share three tips for dealing with ruminating thoughts. That's when we get stuck in that like negative whirlwind of just thinking the same things over and over and we can't seem to break free of it. A lot of the times it's associated with some kind of overwhelming emotion, which is why the first step is to express. Express in a healthy way. For some people who are more artistic, it might be dance or through drawing or through painting or sculpture or um, writing whatever that may be just finding a healthy way of expressing emoting and just releasing that energy for other people it might be as simple as just having a good cry just letting it out for other people just like you know having a few seconds to just scream at the top of the lungs just to ugh, just to just gotta let it out sometimes people who are more physical they might go for a sprint or might just drop down and do some burpees they just gotta sweat it out but whatever it is it's important for you to know what works for you and what is an effective way for me to just release that just to get it out just to express whatever it is that i'm feeling once you've been able to go through that process and just feel whatever you're feeling and let it out then you can focus on soothing and self-regulating and so it's important to use your five senses um to help you ground yourself in the present moment and so um for example if we're thinking about our sense of smell there's aromatherapy there's scented candles there's incense and essential oils and all kind of things we could do to use our sense of smell to help ground us and relax us and really come back to the present moment. There's also sense of hearing. We have, you know, white noise or listening to rainforests or things like that that you could listen to or affirmations or guided imagery, things like that. Um, sense of sight. We can, um, some people like watching fireplaces that's soothing and calming to them. Other people um, watching the waves and the beach crash along the sand, um, looking at waterfalls. Just think about how you can engage your different senses in a way that helps you soothe and really focus on the right now, the present moment. Then once you're able to regain control of yourself, then you have access to all parts of your brain, especially the prefrontal cortex, and you could do a better job of processing whatever it was that happened. So that's a good first question. Ask yourself, what the heck just happened? What was that all about? Ask yourself, what meaning do I want to make out of this? What am I choosing to learn from this experience? Moving forward, if I come across something similar, how do I want to respond differently to it? Um, so allow it to be a process of education. So I guess in a nutshell, self-educate, don't ruminate.